think we're going to jump right into it. So, I completed the demo yesterday. And you, you meet the nemesis, the big bad. Well, presumably the big bad. So this is our garden. And I'm going to say I'm looking at it and I'm not particularly happy with it. So I'm going to try to get some actual proper habitats going. The thing that drives me nuts is that you can build... <laughs> you can build a, a sweet, like, 5x5 five five habitat for a bumblebee. But the thing is, it'll only take, like, the corner of the habitat. It's like, what's the point, dude? Like, I built you this fancy-ass house, and you're sleeping in the backyard? Why would you do that? So that's our goldfish habitat. And... I don't know, they're moderately happy. Oh, we got some decay. We got a keeper there that's going to take care of it, though, so we're good. Thanks, buddy. And this goldfish habitat is not bad. 61%. We could do something over here with it, though. Hmm. So maybe some more foliage and shading. What the hell? Oh. Let's get off overlay mode. Foliage and shading right here to boost that up a little bit. can provide shading. Plantain lily. Well, let's see what that does to the habitat. Nothing? Uh? Didn't do anything to the habitat. Why not? Water foliage shading. Oh, do you need perhaps more water? I suppose I could do that. Let's move. Let's move this flower bed over to here. Move you here. And. Here. We lose the adaptation bonus. I don't know if you saw that, but it should come back in a few turns. Okay. Pond. Now, reeds. Reeds provide foliage and shelter. We need foliage and shading. So there's some foliage. Oh, we could plunk down one of these. Now, what exactly did that symbol mean? Whoa! Holy cow! So the love went from 66% to 275. And if you look carefully, right above... Right here, it's hard to see, but there's room for three goldfish here now, because they really like their habitat. Cool. So it's just a matter of finding the right combination of things. And the one part I was having a problem with was bumblebees. I still have to figure out what the hell this thing is. Now, bumblebees. Hmm. All right, well, let's have a look at the existing bumblebee habitats we have. This guy here, 83%. Now, bumblebees need flowery and shading. 
Looks like we got plenty of that. Tulips provide flowery, but not shading. Plantain lilies provide shading. What about the yarrow bushes? They provide shading too. So why don't they like this more? Let's move this out of there. Put some grass in. Let's see if that has an effect. Whoa, that had a significant effect, actually. We're almost at the point where we can have three in here. Where can I put another one? I can put two more things right here. And flowery, flowery, flowery. I like rhododendrons, so I'm going to put another one there. And let's see. How's our habitat looking now? Those did very little. Hmm. Adaptation. So yeah, so because we just added these here, these three plants, the two grass and the rhododendron, our adaptation is very low for those. I'm gonna move you. What else do I have that's flowery that I, I could put there? Moonshine? It honestly looks like a disorganized mess looking at it. One ninety two. Maybe we need to wait for the adaptation score to go up. You know what? I'll put a pin in this one, we'll come back to that. What other habitats? See I built this little habitat for that's meant for a frog. But I haven't had any takers yet. May I move in? Absolutely. You could move into this crib right here. Getting all that sweet, sweet nectar. What else could it be? Because there's... There's a lot of yarrow bushes. Maybe I need to buy more plant varieties. I haven't had I haven't encountered anything that requires mushroom yet. Hollow log provides what? Shelter, shading, basking. Hmm. Lady fern. Yeah, let's get this. And let's move out you. Actually, let's move you over to this area. Because this is another bumblebee habitat over here. And let's plunk down Lady Fane. I can't place here. Why not? What do I need for it? It needs lush. Hmm. What do I have that's lush? A thicket. Was that the, that the only thing? Yeah. Okay. So we can change that to a thicket. And then we can plonk down a lady fern. I'm curious to see if that has any bearing on the habitat. Nothing. Hmm. Why not? Alright. 
I know I said I was going to leave that alone, then I immediately went back to it. Now I'm actually going to leave it alone until I decide to go back to it again. You can't trust what I say. I'm all over the place with this stuff. So I don't have a crow yet. I'm waiting for one. I need land, tall, frog, or no frogs, and vegetables. I got this tall rock here. The only other thing that's tall I don't have in my inventory. I can buy a birch tree, but that's expensive. So I'm going to have to save up for that one. In the meantime, what about upgrades? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna still wait. Right now the goal is get... What? How much did I need? 22,000? Which, will I get that in three days? Oh yeah. I'll get that in two days if I don't spend any money. So I'm going to wait long enough for the fast forward to come up. And then I'm just going to zoom through the next two days in order to get my birch tree. I can see what challenges I need to do. 15 animals settled. Guard level of 70%. That's going to be tough. 25% of upgrades. Dig a sample of granite. Bauxite. Basalt. I can't do these without... Upgrading the uh, shovel. Spent 75000 in the store. Earn a frequent flyer program. A million in the bank and complete 28 days. This one is, is simple enough. So I introduced this game to my, uh, to my better half, Mrs. Nasig. She actually kind of likes us. Finds it kind of relaxing. Said it reminded her of um, Stardew Valley, actually, which she's played the crap out of. For a non-gamer, she's played that game extensively. We tried playing that game co-op once, and that was a disaster. We both have very different ideas of how to run our farms, and they weren't really compatible at all. So we didn't argue. We were just like getting frustrated with each other. Why are you doing this this way? Because this is how I always do it. You know how it goes. Oh, we got some decay. Oh, did Buddy already get it? He did. Good man. Oops. Nectar, nectar. Lots of nectar. Wow. Did I get it all? Alright, what's this? Hello there, Nasig. We hope this letter finds you well. We we're just reminding you that Hordic Day is coming up in five days. As usual, we have a themed quest with grand prizes for you to win. This time, the quest is as follows. Dig as much ground as you can. Well, shit. I'm, <laughs> I kind of can't do that. Uh, well, not at the moment. What I can do is wait one day, buy my tree, and then hopefully I'll have enough to buy a plot of land. How much are these? Oh, crap, I can do this right now. This one's more expensive. This one's only a thousand. Should leave me at seventeen, which would still leave me over twenty-two. Yeah, let's do it. And let's dig the crap out of this. Oh. 
snap. You know what I didn't figure in? That the extra upkeep would actually prevent me from getting the money needed for the tree. Oh, damn. I better hope that I find uh, some money under here. this? Where is it? Is this what I picked up? Or was it boulder? You have to learn to live with it. Decorate it, maybe. Paint it. Make it your new garden gnome. Just don't try to move it. The boulder is here to stay, and it's not taking any orders from anyone. <laughs> I actually do like the lore in this. It's kind of funny. I appreciate that they took the time to put that in there. As well as being able to just go back and see all of the messages that you've ever received. It's quite, quite handy. Trying to speed this up. Although, I technically don't have to do that. I can just still dig. I don't have to actually have the grass grown. Oh, snap. The timing is terrible. Okay, here we go. Triggering the first wave. Get out of here. Oh. Bitch. There we go. Alright. There we go. Safe and sound. Where were we? Digging the crap out of my plot of land. Ooh, we're gonna have just enough for the tree. I can let the rest of this go on its own. I'm not in a rush to build over to this area. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm short by like... Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Hi there, Nasig. You've completed the following challenge. Complete 28 days. Oh, perfect. Now I definitely have enough. Bam. I can now build trees. All right. Oh, he's carrying a, a nectar for me. So hopefully that'll... Digging all of this up will be enough for the challenge... Uh-oh. We got a thunderstorm, and sometimes... What happened yesterday was that a big chunk of my garden got blowed up from the thunderstorm. And restore that. Alright. 
building a tree. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I guess we're not. Not just yet. And I do want to see if this habitat has adapted a little bit. Has it improved at all? Why is it at 25%? Or is it just because of the rain? Hmm. And this has dropped considerably, too. This was at 275%. trying to, part of what I'm doing is trying to understand the mechanics of this game, like how do you build the type of habitat that a creature will want to move into. I do want to build more frog habitats. So they need 3x3 three three water, land, basking, shelter, shading, foliage. It doesn't have to be a pond, it can be a stream too. Basking at all, and just basking. If I put this here, then I put this in the water? I believe I can. That'll also serve for a crow. So we've got reeds. And reeds provide foliage and shelter. We also need basking, which we have from this. Shading as well. Shading, 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 shading. Uh, let's put a garden box here. Put in some tulips because they provide shelter. Whoa. Those keepers are doing a good job of keeping my garden intact, though. And this is almost done. Okay, so this is the area I was focusing on. So three by three. Can I do some water lilies? Oh, I can't do them in a stream. I mean, that's not a big deal. I can actually just put a couple of pond tiles right here, I suppose. That was a happy sound. What was that? Did we have a visitor? You guys heard that too, right? Okay, well, if there was a creature that was visiting, I must have missed it. That's a shame. The thing is, I can actually review the footage afterwards and figure out what it was that I missed. But right now, I'm not going to do that. Oh, it takes too much time. Okay. This is a nice little habitat for frogs.
Still waiting for my crow. Which I'm wondering is actually if it's even a part of the demo. Kale. This is new. Glowing mushroom. Oh, provides light. And magic. With a pulsing glow, these mushrooms seem magical in nature. Old tales depict sprites dancing the night away over glowing fields of mushrooms. They were probably high, would be my guess. I'm seeing a different kind of shrooms. And we got a different variety. And I'm wondering if... Actually, I do want to test something. Wait a minute. Oh, I understand now. If I go to Bumblebee, and then I go to the overlay... Okay, now I understand what I was doing before. Ah, alright. So, I had it selected... Is it when you have... Oh, hang on. I'll get to that point in a second. I have a visitor. Where is he? There he is. Oh yeah, you can move. See, this drives me nuts. If he if he lived here, if he lived here, then he'd have access to all this stuff. But no, 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 he's going to live here because he's an idiot and make me move all the crap to suit him. Screw you, buddy. Uh, these picky tenants. Actually, I'll just expand it this way. So that was... What was the habitat for him? He was... Oh, see. Okay, so what I was saying before, um, because I have Bumblebee selected in the bottom left hand here, it's it's showing me the sites for, uh, for Bumblebees. Oh, hey, you are slow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so... Who's this? That's Paul. I'm sorry. Hey. And what their percentage is. This is 126. This is 131. This is 122. This is 192. But if I switch to frog, then it switches to 3x3, three three, and I see the frog habitats and how well these are suited for frogs. This is 170%, so frogs are really happy here. Here, eh, not so much, but that's only because this frog is a freaking idiot and decided to live not where I had wanted them to live so let's just do this and move you here move you I don't know here have a look at it now 88%. Okay, so that didn't do much. Hmm. What about... Some more reeds, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Will that make you happy? Ugh, no. What's the problem? Is it the variety? Is it because I have two sections of grass? Sorry guys, this is just trial and error. So I moved the grass out from this square here, and it didn't have an effect. So I'm guessing variety does play that much of a role. I need lush. Well, let's see how well this goes. Did that make a difference? Oh man, these frogs are picky. I'm guessing the proportion of water to land is the problem. Is there too much water? 
Oh, crap. First of all, we got a sick creature. That's not good. Why do we have a sick creature? I have fallen ill. Um... Can I do something about that? I don't know what to do about an ill um, gnome. Shower him with love. Take him back home? Hmm. Yeah, I legitimately don't know. Oh, poor thing. One of your animals has gotten sick. Oh, okay. Maybe because it wasn't able to shelter during unfavored weather. Or perhaps it found something poisonous to eat. Regardless, it needs some help to get better, either using a magical spell or by moving it home and pouring love all over it. Well, we tried that already. That didn't work. So, creatures occasionally get sick, especially when stressed, such as being unsheltered in disliked weather. Magic quickly cures a sick creature, but she can also bring it home and pour love all over it. Pour some sugar on me. There you go. Do you feel better? Can you please feel better? Why aren't you feeling better? Man, I gotta deal with these two. Well, I don't know what you want me to do. I tried healing him. That didn't work. I tried showering him with love and taking him home, and that didn't work. Some people are just miserable by nature, and I think it, I think that was the story with that keeper. I think he was just an unhappy dude. And he was just looking to blame me for his problems. Hmm. I'm joking, of course. Careful now. One of your creatures left the garden. It is uh, it is likely that you accidentally modified its habitat, making it unhappy. Uh, no, it's not. I didn't modify the habitat. When your inhabitants get too unhappy, they leave. Once that happens, attracting new animals will temporarily take longer. Well, that actually makes sense. Anyhow, don't be discouraged. You have lots of success ahead of you, we're sure. The Council. I got a ton of nectar. I should see what I can buy with it now. Flower pot. Another flower pot. Pitch torch for lighting. Oh, I actually wouldn't mind having a lantern. What else we got? Just decorative stuff, I guess. Oh. This actually provides flowery. Deck, tile, savanna. Hmm. I'm going to get a lantern. And that's it for now. How's my frog situation going on here? Still only 88%. Hmm. How much land to water do we have here? We've got two, three things of land. And five things of water. I wonder. Because... Because when I added this fern, it didn't change anything. I'm wondering if this... If I just change it to water, if it will. Well, let's... Put this somewhere else. Uh, eh, why not here? Move you over here. 
churn you into water. Now let's see. Any difference? Huh. Okay. That actually made the score go down. So now I'm wondering... Is there not enough land? Let's move it back here. And let's see now. 94. Okay. I wonder if it's too busy. Move this over here and see what happens. No effect. I wonder if changing the water type to pond will have an effect. How about now? No change. What the hell am I doing wrong? Hmm. Oh. Oops. Shoot. Wish there was an undo key. One curious creature. Yes, you can. You can move in here. And we have one unhappy creature. Why are you unhappy? My home is ruined. What? Why? It's not ruined. Stop being a bitch. Oh, boy. What did I do? Uh, my trial and error really pissed that guy off. What? Oh, right, I forgot all about this. I'm still an apprentice. I've gone up in rank. I think it was 558 before. Or 559. Still a long ways off. Oh, ranked 573. Oh, yay, participation trophy. <laughs> so I didn't earn anything else special for Hordic Day. Okay. I don't understand why this dude is unhappy now. There's nothing wrong with your home. Ah, oh, man. Explain to me how your home is ruined. Ah, okay, fine. Still not happy. I'm gonna lose this frog. Frogs are challenging to maintain. I don't know why. Now, goldfish are relatively easy. Ah, 
Ah, screw you. Just as a test, I'm going to build a frog habitat over here because I want to experiment and figure out exactly what you need for a happy um, frog habitat. Don't know why I'm doing it this way, but this is likely to change. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Let's have one big uninterrupted pond. Okay, so we got the water and the land. Now we need basking, which we got the rocks for. So let's put one here. One here and one here. So one, two, three. Actually, you know what? No. Let's put them right in the middle. One, two, three, one, two. I need another water tile right here. Now, this provides foliage and shading. Actually, they both do. But just for variety, let's put... That. And then on this one, we'll try with a water lily. And this will do water lily and Victoria thing. Okay. So we've got foliage and shading, and foliage and shelter here, foliage, shading, and shelter here, and we just have foliage and shading here. We don't have shelter. Curious. Why is this an invalid location? Ah, crap. Right when I'm in the middle of something. Quick little buggers. You can't really lock onto them, you just have to wait till they stop or get lucky and Oh, there's more? Not my rock. There we go. I didn't get a nectar for that one. Okay, there we go. So where were we? Now we need some... Oh, I don't know. some grass here because this one needs shelter honestly that should be enough so when I look at the habitat view so if I'm reading this right this meets a hundred percent of because there's that gold cube Right, there's the three symbols. There's the orange one that says 88%. There's the love one, which says 94%. And then there's the gold one, which says 100 Which tells me, and I may be interpreting this incorrectly, 
that I am meeting every single one of these requirements. So basking, shelter, shading, and foliage for this area. So the question is, why isn't the water land distribution being met? I'm really curious about that. Because if I add another water here, what does that do to the overall habitat? Oh! We did it! We found our perfect mix. Okay, so this is a perfect home for a frog. Well, this one's slightly more perfect. Hmm. Something isn't being met here. We've got shelter. We don't have shading. Shading is what's missing. Now let's go fancy and put a lady fired. Okay. So I'm meeting 100% of the secondary requirements. But the water and sh uh Water and land is not evenly distributed. So if I put a water here, that'll do it. Okay. So I got a little frog hotel set up here. How about now? Okay, so it needs... Roughly a 50-50 distribution. Okay, we've got shading and... No. What does that provide? Foliage and shading. We don't have shelter. We can do reeds, or we can do... Some sort of... Oh, we could do a plantain lily. That doesn't do much. Foliage and shading. Need shelter. There's a lot of different ways of going about it. Let's go with grass. There we go. Okay, so we have three over 100% habitats right here. So we're all set up for frogs. We just need to wait for them to arrive. Okay. Starting to get the hang of this a little bit more. Glad I stuck with this for another day. I'm pretty sure I'm getting this game when it's uh, when it's coming out, just because uh, for f for nothing else, Mrs. Nostig enjoys this game. That's not very often I can find a game that she's willing to play. All right. So we're set up for frogs when they get here. Oh, do you want to move here? I mean, you can. It's probably a bit better for you. So what can I do to make this more than 100%? Got more than one living here. Let's try another fern. Okay, 141%. That's not bad. Lady ferns are good because they provide foliage, shading, and shelter. Need more basking, maybe? Okay. Let's get more foliage. Well, 
158%. Okay. That's, that's not bad. We have one other area here we can do something with. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Tulips, maybe. Need dirt for that. Hundred and seventy percent. Okay. That'll that'll do. I don't really know how to go beyond that though. Unless we just try exploiting like different varieties. Well let's try it. Let's um get rid of this rock. And let's try the big rock. See if that makes a difference. Uh, okay, well, not really. What about... Let's move you over here. And put down a different type of flower. Or, well, I guess not a different type, just a different color. No difference. Still 170. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, koi. A hollow log. Hmm. Provide shelter, shading, and basking. This might be good for the frogs. Foliage, vegetable, and shading. Huh. Well, I've got enough for... Actually, I've got enough for this, this, and this. I'm quite happy with this so far. So I've got a good home for frogs if they show up. In the meantime, this is... Now that I look at this, it's really starting to look like a disorganized mess. I have to do something with this section. <laughs> I can see myself really getting lost in this game. I'm looking at the clock right now, and it's it's 8.50. I've been playing this for almost an hour. And I've barely noticed. I really do wish I had more time to dedicate to streaming. More than just one hour a night. And I'll give it time. Maybe I will at some point. Okay, well, let's look at Koi. Oh, they need dragonflies. Which I don't have yet. So I should probably focus on getting dragonflies first. They need water, land, tall basking, and foliage. Are there any that... I don't see any koi habitats, but we do have a curious frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. It is if you want it to be. One more frog and then I can finally defeat this hydro dedication task. Let's see. How would you like a hollow log, Mr. Frog? Oh, wait. wait a oh, you know what? That's why, because I'm still on dragonfly mode. Let's put a hollow log right here. 
And tell me what you think. We're going to go from 123% to 141. That's not bad. I wonder if I get rid of this. Let's put you over here for now. And put a hollow log instead. Oh, it did drop by 7%. Or 6%. Hollow log. Oh, okay. So it prefers the hollow log. Noted. Okay, good to know. Anyway, we were on koi. Or no, dragonflies. Uh, five by five. Shows up between 7 and 10 p.m. Water, land, tall basking, and foliage. Actually, that does seem like a decent area, but I want to know if there's... Ah, okay, there's a bit of an overlap with the goldfish and frog. So, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm gonna designate this area. Maybe for koi. Or dragon flies. I keep wanting to say koi. So now I can just highlight this area, and this will tell me. All right, so needs more water, I'm guessing. Okay, so we have the right distribution of water and land. Now we need tall, basking, and foliage. Tall. What do we have that's tall? Well, we can put a tree right there. And we have another curious frog. Where is he? There we go. Hello, friend. Oh, wait, I can put two here. All right, finally beat that challenge. Good afternoon, Nasig. I see you've attracted lots of little critters since I introduced myself. You now have 15 animals. Yes, I count it. Wonderful. Your garden is feeling so much warmer to me already. Perfect for making valuable upgrades. Now, speaking of warm, the reason I write to you is that I have a penchant for deserts. They may be dry, but that just makes the life there so much more interesting. If you could just attract a few more animals to Mirabilis, I'll give you access to desert soil. How about it? No stress. Regards, Faunus. So, how many more do I need? Oh. Hi there, Nasig. You've completed the following challenge. Have 15 animals settled. Well done. All right. There we go. Wow, you did it, Nasig. I wasn't convinced when the council told me about you, but you show true dedication to the aquatic gardening arts. Here you go. I will supply you with the thickest of reeds from now on. Were you giving me, like, crap reeds before? I'll be keeping my eyes on Mirabilis with, an a with anticipation. P.S. I have attached a sizable donation in case you need it. I always need money. So what did we get here? We got... Oh, it's not here. Thickest reeds. Where are they? Oh. What's the difference? Foliage shelter. 
Foliage, shelter, shading, and tall. Whoa. Water, but not deep. I can actually use this in my dragonfly area. Which is coming along. Got tall, I need foliage and basking. So let's put a wood log. And maybe a, I can repurpose this boulder. Put it right here. And now let's see. Is it here, right? So still needs more. Tall basking and foliage. Fly habitat that's appeared. That's not where I wanted it to be, but uh, apparently the game doesn't care what I want. What happens if I add this? No change. But I got a dragonfly. Yes, you may. All right. Got a dragonfly. Still don't have a crow. But I guess that'll be next time's project. Still a disorganized mess here, but I've got habitats sort of figured out for some animals. Frogs up here, especially. I may have played this game a couple more times on stream, but I don't think I'm going to go beyond this week. Unless there's a, a big update to, update to the demo and they include a bunch more stuff, but I don't really see that happening. This demo gives you enough of an idea of the type of game and how to play it, and what you're up against, and how to handle it. So, yeah. I mean, I would recommend playing this if you're on the fence about whether or not you are interested in this type of game. Um, play it, because the demo's pretty full-featured, and it gives you a really good sample of the gameplay the and the other elements as well. And then, once you've played it, you can report back to me and let me know what you think. Because I'd love to have a conversation about this game and what you think it does right and what you think it can improve on. But the gameplay I find very, very addictive and infectious. And I really want to know what the hell this thing is. But I actually can't get it unless I buy this plot and this plot and then this plot and I don't have enough money for that same with this one just a bit out of reach figure out what these fiddlehead things are too and try to open up this entire map if I really wanted to but I might just do that on my own time anyway that's it for me hope you've enjoyed it I haven't ah man let me just take care of this. There you go, froggy. Thank you for joining me tonight. If uh, you didn't catch all of this, I'll be uploading this to YouTube as well as uh, yesterday's playthrough, which I don't think is up there yet, but the first day is. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future games you'd like me to play on stream, just let me know. You can either message me on Twitter or join stream and just message and chat. I'm pretty open to playing any games that my computer can handle, so that shouldn't be a problem. Even horror games, which aren't usually my thing, if you guys want me to play it, I will. Consider it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, I've enjoyed it, and I think you might as well. So give it a shot, and let me know what you think. And until next time, 
I'll see you around. Be back on Wednesday. I hope you can catch me then. Take care now.